Lots of native people who inhabited the Green River Basin beginning about a thousand years ago and on up into historic times is seen here on the soft sandstones of the Wasatch Formation. I am Julie Francis. I am the archaeologist for the Wyoming Department of Transportation. I'm also an adjunct faculty member in anthropology at the University of Wyoming. And I also have been studying rock art since about the late 1980s. We are at the White Mountain site north of Rock Springs and what we see here on this sandstone cliff is evidence of people from probably about the last thousand years up until historic times where they left the images of many, many animals. Uh, there's quite a few human images. We also see, especially on this panel, uh, horses and riders probably engaged in a battle scene which tells us this, this particular panel may date to sometime in the 18th or perhaps 19th century. I am standing next to a panel which shows a very large, magnificent bull elk. Uh, many of the animals are depicted at this site are considered spiritually powerful creatures. Here as we see, there's a little crevice like here in the rock which represents the elk's eye as it's shown in profile. Uh, and that is a common way of people representing the spiritual power of these animals and the power of the place as well. Now, I'm Wayne Sutherland. I work with the Wyoming State Geological Survey. What we're looking at here, is this sandstone is actually a channel in the Wasatch Formation that kind of interfingers with the Green River lake beds. All of this is Eocene age, 45 to 50 million years old. But in this stream channel, uh, it's a harder rock than the surrounding material. This is why it was probably selected for the petroglyphs. Now, petroglyphs are rock art or carvings that have been pecked or carved into the surface of the rock, as opposed to pictographs, which are painted on. One of the things that maybe the reason they selected this area is because we have this uh, desert varnish. This is a fairly thin desert varnish, but you can see the difference in color between here and here. You get a little bit of iron that's precipitated and some other minerals as well uh, near the surface. Once you chip that off, then whatever you're carving in there will show out in relief because you'll have lighter colored rock showing through this darker layer on the surface. It brings it into a greater relief. As far as interpretation, we need to be very cautious about being too literal. We have to recognize that these places are of great spiritual and cultural importance to many, many peoples with many different interpretations and understandings. Many Native Americans consider places like this to be their churches. The rock art survives today as a museum on sandstone for us to continue to enjoy and respect the people and the imagery and the power of the place.